hey y'all this is camille coming to you again um i am owner and recruiter at bring on wheels and i am coming to you with another really really good video <clears throat> about another job excuse me um please do me a favor like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel and you will see a little um bell next to the subscription that way you can get notifications of new videos that i drop as well as any lives that i do okay so um today what we're going to talk about is um dollar tree okay so i have a dollar tree um savannah for company drivers teams lease purchase and owner ops okay i'm not gonna dive really really in depth into teams um, I'll just talk about a little bit about it, um, but I'm really going to concentrate on the company, drivers, lease purchase, and owner ops, okay? Now, I'm still going to do an overview of it all because if I go into everything about the lease purchase, it will get very, very lengthy, okay? But do know if um, you want to be home on a weekly basis out of Florida, uh, this is a job for you. If you want to own a truck, this is the job for you, okay? that th This is that uh, job. You will mainly just be running, not mainly, let me back up. You will be running Florida and Georgia. Now, you might do the, just the line of where South Carolina is, um, just because you might have a store too on that side, but primarily it's just gonna be Georgia and Florida, okay? Um, so now the teams, let me throw this out there. Those drivers will not be home weekly. Those drivers will be out three weeks and home three days. For your company drivers, your lease purchase, and your owner ops, you will be out a week and home for a reset. Now, depending on how close you are, whether it be to the distribution center or close you are to some of the stores on your route, you might be able to see the house um, more often than that. But my job is to kind of tell you how it works primarily for all of you, not um, very specific when it comes to your routes, okay? I definitely have my notepad, so I'm staying on target and not rambling because, you know, that can happen, right? Okay, so let's start with qualifications, okay? You must, for this Dollar Tree account, be able to pass a comprehensive drug test. So in lay terms, that's just a hair drug test going back four months, okay? So I'm not gonna talk about, okay, this month is March, so going back to November. I do that on my actual ads, but in YouTube purposes, because this is a video that's just gonna stay out there, it's going back four months, uh, 90 to 120 days. I'm a Virgo, so my reality is everybody else's worst case scenario. So that's the reason why I say four months, okay? Now, um, for company drivers, you need three months experience, three months recent experience. So that doesn't mean a month and a half with this company and a month and a half with that company. It has to be three consecutive months with one company, okay? For lease purchase and owner ops, you have to have six months experience. And the same rule applies it can't be three months with this company and three months with that company. It has to be six consecutive months with one company, okay? So let's go over this again. For company drivers, whether that be team or solo, it's three months. If it's team, each driver needs at least three months recent experience. With lease purchase and owner ops, it's six months, okay? And you gotta have a decent MVR, okay? Um, uh, uh, recently, you know, you can have some instructions and um, things like that from before, but not very, very recent, okay? Not, I'm not saying that you can't have speeding tickets and all of that. We know that kind of goes along with things, but like big, 
major things, it has to be a few years out. Okay, so before I get into the pay, I want to talk about how it works. You are home on a weekly basis, okay? Um, except for team drivers, that's out three weeks. But you're home on a weekly basis and it's basically an out and back to the distribution center. The distribution center for this one is in Savannah, Savannah, um, Georgia, okay? Is your distribution center. So when you come home, or when you're able to go home for your reset, you have freight on your back, which means you don't have to go all the way back to the distribution center, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say that you're starting out Sunday night and your first appointment is Monday morning at eight o'clock um, at an account in Fort Lauderdale. Let's just, uh, not Fort Lauderdale, that's probably too far down. It's going to be like Fort Myers, right? Okay, so you're going to have, you're going to pull out with a load. You have a minimum of three loads a week and six stops a load. So on the ash, you'll see me say five to seven stops on average. So five to seven stops on average, if we get down to the nitty gritty, is six stops, right? So six stops a load. So that means six different stores. Then you have a backhaul. Okay, and you'll come back to the distribution center. Let's back up a little bit. When you get to the stores, you're going to back up to the back of the store. You're going to take your ramp or conveyor belt, okay, and that is in your trailer. Hook it on to the inside of your trailer and affix it or attach it to the ramp or conveyor belt that's inside of the Dollar Tree. You're going to hook them and marry them together. Then you're going to take box per box, okay? Some of the stores might have pallets, but overall, this is how Dollar Trees work. You're going to take box per box. Of course, nothing is heavy, i.e. it's the dollar store, it's Dollar Tree, but it's repetition, okay? So some tips that I've heard from different drivers, they get uh, back brace belts, those belts. Not that... It's heavy, but it's repetition, okay? I'm not a medical person. I'm just giving you tips that I've heard over the 11 years that other drivers do that have been successful and make it easier for themselves on this account. Also, it's Florida. So when it gets hot, if you get one of those, um, you can get it from like Sam's or something like that, where it's cool and you put it around your neck, almost like a travel pillow, but it's one that you might put in a refrigerator or something like that. Put it around your neck um, because if you can keep this part cool, then the rest of you should be okay, right? Okay, keep your, your fluids and all of that type of stuff in the car, um, in your cab. That way, you know, you can keep yourself replenished, okay? Those are just tips that I've heard from drivers that say, okay, this is how I do it, and everything else is a cakewalk, okay? And I've also heard it from drivers that do more extensive uh, uh, touch freight, like, uh, let's say, uh, moving and, you know, stuff like that, or laborers that also drive. But anyway, so once everything is off, then you put your ramp back on, your responsibility is not to take their product in a store. Your responsibility is not to stock their shelves, okay? Um, I say that because there are a lot of touch free accounts that you do have to do that. That's not this Dollar Tree. It's not Dollar Stores at all, but it's not Dollar Tree, okay? So, uh, once you put the ramp back in or the conveyor belt back in your trailer, you go to your next stop. After all six stops are done, you bring a backhaul back and you go back to the distribution center, okay? Um, and then you do that. Once you're done with all three loads, unless you end up taking another load, then when you go home for your home time, okay? When you go home for your home time, you're gonna have freight on your back. The power of that is you do not have to worry about driving all the way back to the distribution center, whether you live in Fort Myers, uh, St. Pierce, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Or even if you live in Jacksonville, you live in uh, other areas, okay? 
you don't have to worry about going back to the distribution center okay now the way you get paid on this account is mileage pay load pay and backhaul okay your mileage pay is not this huge amount because you that's not how you get paid okay you got three different ways um that you're able to get paid on this account okay this account is great for somebody um that wants to be off the road it also is good for newer drivers that don't have a lot of experience so you're still able to make a handsome amount of money anybody that has done dollar stores for your majors that you know that you make money on these accounts okay and you're able to stay uh fairly close to home um so company pay uh for company drivers it's going to be gross between 1250 and 1500 which comes to be 65,000 and 78,000 a year gross okay so that's 1250 to 1500 a week 65 to 8 78 okay you do not need any twic you don't need any endorsements for this account okay lease purchase and owner operator before your expenses so we're talking about gross is 2550 to 2810 a week which is about 133 to 146,000 a year before any of your expenses mind you this is a lower mileage mileage account. So if you're an owner operator or lease purchase, you're not burning a lot of fuel on this account because it's only 1,500 miles, okay? So I do uh, want to make sure that uh, you know that. So those are some big pros that I hear about this account all the time is that you're not driving all over the place, one, you stand close to home. So if you don't want to go up and down 95, you do not have to on this account. You're only driving Florida and Georgia and you might have stores. Everybody will not. But some of you might have stores just over the Georgia line into South uh, Carolina. Okay. But just right over into there. Not too far over because then you'll be going into the cow pens. Uh, distribution center and that's not what this is for so if you all are interested please call or text me at 708-487-9064 708-487-9064 also in the description box below like the details and everything i'm going to have the description of this job as well as the application in there and of course my telephone numbers okay um please like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel and remember to hit the little bell so you can get notifications okay be safe be blessed and give me a call bye